In this episode, we are going to learn about how to respond to the click events of a button. You can respond to the click events of a button in two ways. First method is specify an onclick method on the XML file. Second method is defining an onclick listener. So here I am going to show you the two methods of how to respond to the click events of a button. So first we have to create a button. So here I am going to create a new button. Width is wrap content, height also wrap content. Now specify a text for the button. Refer it from the string resource. Click me. Now we have to define this one in the string resource file. Click me. The value is click me. Okay. Now we have a button at the activity main.xml file. So now I am going to specify another attribute on this XML file and do it on click and specify a method name. I name the method as get me. So now this is the method that will invoke whenever user click this button. So you have to define this method on the Java file corresponding to this file. So this is the activity main.xml file. So the Java class file corresponding to this layout is the main activity. So I open up the main activity. So now I have to define that method in this class. So the onclick method is always need to be public. You have to specify the method in public and the return type is always void and specify the method name. Here the method name is get me. And another important thing, you have to specify an argument of view class here. This is because whenever user interact with the button or any view component, the Android system will create an object of that particular view component. Suppose here it is button. So whenever user click the button, the Android system will create an object of button and pass it into the corresponding method that listen to the click events. So here the click event, the, the listener is get me method. So you have to specify an object of view class here to get the object. That's why I define this argument here. So I display a message using toast get base context you click on first button Now specify the duration, make it this long, now make it visible. Okay, so here it, this is the first method of listening to the click events of a button. You have to specify an onclick method on the XML file and you have to define that particular method on the Java class file. And the method name must be the method must be public method and the return type is return type must be void and you have to specify an argument of view class here. Okay, so now I am def I am going to show you the second method. Suppose I am going to add another button here. Here the text is click me too. So you have to specify it on the string resource file. And the text is click me too.
okay now look at the design now we have another button here now here I am going to make an on click listener for this button so if you if you want to listen if you want to use an on click method on click listener for the button you have to define an ID for that button so here I am going to add an attribute that to define an ID for this button so Android ID use the plus ID and specify an ID here the ID is BN so now go to the class file corresponding to this layout so for handling the click events of that particular button you have to create an object of that button first you have to create an instant of that button so create an object of button class BN now after the set content view you have to initialize the button so BN equal to use this method find view by ID r dot ID dot that button ID is BN so this is an object so you have to cast it into corresponding class so here the class name is button okay so now we have the object of the button now we have to create an on click listener for the button so use this method BN dot set on click listener it is an anonymous inner type okay so whenever user click the button we got the click events on this method on click method okay here also I specify a message using toast you click on second button okay now we can test the application so I run the application okay now we have the application on the emulator so now I am going to click the first button so you click on the first button now I am going to click the second button you click on second button this is the two methods of how to listen to the click events of a button I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.